Hey guys, welcome back to a quick video of Let's Talk Sports, where I just wanted to give a quick recap on what has been going on lately in the sports. As you can see, I have actually moved houses, and we are moving in, which is why I have not posted in a while, and that's awesome. That's really, really sick. I'm super excited to be in a new house, but uh, Niners Chiefs, Super Bowl 58, and Look, I got both predictions wrong. I had the Lions and the Ravens, and uh, Ravens offense kind of stunk. Defense couldn't carry them to the point where they won, and Lions sold in the second half. Dan Campbell should have kicked the field goal, didn't. So both of my kicks went down the drain, but I'm hoping the Niners win. Taylor Swift is starting to get on my nerves. The Chiefs just make it every year, and it's so annoying because no matter how bad this team plays in the regular season, they they can be just so good in the playoffs. I don't know what it is. You let them get in, you're pretty much screwed. And yeah, I'm gonna say it's pretty dang annoying that the their division is so terrible because the Broncos, Raiders, and Chargers just can't do anything to dethrone them, which is just annoying. And then the Niners look great. Brock Purdy, Mister Irrelevant, can they get it done? Is the question. And I'd say they have a pretty good shot. Actually, I think this is one of the best teams they've had now in a while and I think they very could get it done but if they can't then we have Taylor Swift and uh she's been there every single game and it's, she's been true to Kelsey and Kelsey's been going absolutely off in these playoffs I like he always does so yeah we got the Chiefs taking on the 49ers and then Florida Gators men's basketball with a massive Massive road win in Rupp last night over number 10 Kentucky to get their first quad one win of the year. And that should bring them off the tournament bubble at 15-6, and six, winning their fourth straight. The Gators cannot lose right now playing great basketball at the perfect time. Todd Golden has that team absolutely rolling. And Florida picks up a massive dub college basketball, 40 or 46 days until selection Sunday. Getting there until March 17th. That is the day. Circle March 17th. Selection Sunday. I love Selection Sunday just so much. I don't know. Something about it. Just so, so good. And we're hyped for the Selection Sunday on March 17th. Given weekly AP poll updates surrounding college basketball. But I haven't been really any other big updates outside of that. Some big triple header this weekend. If you want to tune in, Houston at Kansas in Lawrence, Allen Fieldhouse to Mountain Time on ESPN. And then Duke and Carolina, at number seven versus number three, 430 Mountain Time ESPN. Biggest rivalry in maybe college sports when it comes to basketball. And then 630 ESPN, number five, Tennessee at number 10, Kentucky from Rupp. Massive triple header and a Sonic block budget triple header only on ESPN this Saturday. Make sure to catch that. I'll probably give updates from the Super Bowl, Pro Bowls this weekend, but really, honestly, nobody watches the Pro Bowl. I hate to say it. Loki ruined the Pro Bowl. A mat monster weekend of college basketball, including a huge Big Ten game on Sunday, which highlights Purdue versus Wisconsin. So that is. And I will be giving you updates of the new house as the move continues to get on but that is about all i have for you unless i'm trying to think if there's anything else the recruiting rankings have all been finalized all of that is done and i will catch tristan tuning out from let's talk sports i'll catch you in the next one peace